Welcome, this is Ambrose from Faith Agro Inputs. Today, we are, we, we are here to introduce to you a very brand new tomato, tomato seed. A seed, uh, a tomato seed variety, a variety that uh, we believe it's going to be a game changer for our dear farmers out there. There has been uh, a lot of concern over, over a period of time whereby our dear farmers have always been complaining. If they are not suffering from bacterial wilt, they are suffering from black spot, they are suffering from excessive or unnecessary bacterial spike. But today we, are, we introduce to you a very brand new tomato that we believe is going to change the live stream, rather that we believe is going to impact the lives of so many farmers. First and foremost, why should a farmer embrace this particular variety? Number one, it has the numbers in terms of yield. Number two, it is uh, tolerant to most of the diseases. Then number three, it is two in one. It can be planted both indoor and outdoor. Number four, it is a heavy yielder. Heavy yielder in the sense that in an, each, each individual plant, it's able to give you over 25 kilograms of tomatoes. Then number five, it's a variety that can be harvested for a very long period of time, preferably between nine to 11 months. So as a farmer, it's a good uh, insurance to ensure that you are going to be in the market for a very long period of time. Then all along, why, why have we come up with this variety? Remember, today uh, there is a narrative going around the country, around, be, it, be it politicians, be it scientists, be it businessmen, be it clergy. They are talking about money economy. You can never uh, be part of the money economy when you are not producing for the market. And when you are produ if you want to intensively venture into money economy, you must be precise. precise. Precise in the sense that whatever you produce should have market. And these are one of the tools that we put, we, 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 are, we are bringing to, the, to our growers to ensure that or we ensure that we they cultivate the culture of being able to venture into to, to embrace the money economy. Now, why should farmers embrace uh, Alliston F1? Number one, for quite some time, we've been having challenges with, uh, with our growers of having tomatoes that are small in size, having tomatoes that uh, are not, uh, that, that are susceptible to infections, but with the research and in partnership with the Syngenta, we've managed to come up to, 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 to respond and heed the call our farmer, of our farmers. Now, as Faith Agro inputs, we've had a, quite a number of challenges with our growers, whereby they have been complaining that there is an influx of tomatoes from Kenya. And these tomatoes are basically putting them out of business. Now, to counter that, whatever they were, they were asking for us to do was to, lo to lobby to ensure that some of the Kenyans, they put the restrictions from Kenyans from bringing their tomatoes here. But we told them, no, we need to, get, to come up with a scientific uh, me me measure to ensure that we counter that. And the only way we can counter that is to come up with a superior variety than what the market is what is offering. So today, as we prepare to launch this uh, very good variety, we call upon our farmers, kindly embrace it. The only sure way that you are going to uh, negotiate for your market space in different markets. Therefore, it's a tomato, a very good tomato, worth reckoning. Now, we go to how do we produce it to reach this level? Number one, as I said earlier, first thing first, seed matters. You remember, you need to get seed, and the seed in question is Alston F1. It is planted in the nursery bed, and there are like three methods of nursery bed establishment. The first one, you can either put in potting trays. The second one, you can put in a normal nursery bed that you, you put. The third one, you, put, you can put in potting trays. 
The beauty is as faith agro inputs, we ensure that all the seed that we, produce, we bring to our farmers or we avail to our farmers has the highest level of germination. For example, we always make sure that at least the, the germination is over 95%. Anything below 90%, we do not confirm the purchase. So because of the premium quality of the variety, we, we must ensure that the germination is okay and purity, there is no doubt about that, it must be 100%. In the nursery bed, this particular variety lasts in the nursery bed for 21 days. After 21 days, you transplant. Tra during transplanting, there are quite a number of activities that are connected in order for you to uh, attain such a very good looking tomato. Number one, you need to, pr to prepare your garden earlier. Do the, f the first tillage, second tillage to break down the so soil into smaller particles. In the spaces within the rows, you can scoop that soil is what you use to mix your manure. So the, the width of the hole should be around one, one feet and then depth one feet. So it is one by one. We put one spade for our mixture, the mixture of uh, manure and soil. Allow it to blend for at least seven days, or if you have time, you can push it up to 14 days. All these activities are done within the 21 days that we've provided for a nursery bed. Because when the nursery bed is due for transplanting, it is due for transplanting. And sometimes farmers make mistakes of transplanting, of digging the holes on the same day and they plant, transplant in the same day. That one puts our seedlings in a very funny situation whereby at one point, the soil is trying to blend, to recollect itself to ensure that it can coordinate. Then on the other hand, here we are introducing a seedling that is supposed to thrive in that environment. That explains the reason why most of the farmers, their seedlings suffer what we call transplanting shocks. So we call upon farmers, once you've done the nursery bed, the first day you, the seeds have slept in the soil, ensure that you start preparing for the holes where you're going to transplant these seedlings from. Now, when we are transplanting the seedlings, we also use inorganic fertilizers. And the, in this particular program, we are looking at the fertilizer called Yaramira Power. Yaramira Power is a special formulation to cater for our seedlings for the first three, four weeks of initial stages of growth. Yaramira Power is formulated to an extent that is able to give us the efficiency in terms of nutri nutri nutrient utilization by our tender plant. I remember there has been a, a narrative in by most farmers who normally confuse manure and fertilizer. Manure has a special role basically to provide moisture or to blend and soft the root zone, to soften the root, the root zone to ensure that the plant is able to, to, be, to establish very well. Then the fertilizer, it acts as a catalyst to ensure that the, these new seedlings that we've, we've planted adopt very fast. And how does it adopt very fast? By producing quite a number of fiber roots that are going to extract the nutrients from the, from the what? the manure we've, that we've applied. So therefore, just to clarify, for those, those who have been confusing uh, fertilizer and manure, that is the thing. The, the, the key component of manure is to ensure that the root zone of our plants are able to hold enough moisture. Remember, moisture are the, are the building blocks to ensure that the, the tomato is stable and is able to have uh, the required vigor. Then number two, when, when we are, when we are start, after we've already transplanted, as I said, we use Yaramira power as a base of fertilizer. Then we also add on the foliar fertilizer, which is called Vano. Now, the, the use of Vano, Vano helps us to ensure that these seedlings this, these young seedlings that we've planted are able to resist transplanting shocks. So basically, Vano has the copper and the zinc. Copper is to su su suffocate the emergence of bacteria-based uh, infection, while zinc is the one that catalyzes the photosynthesis. We want this young seedling to be able to start uh, manufacturing its own food 
to ensure that it is self uh, sufficient from there we look at the insect side the first three weeks remember that for the first three weeks we are the, the, we are using yaramira power as the basal fertilizer vano as the foliar fertilizer and then column as the insect side now we recommend our farmers that they they mix a, a foliar fertilizer with an insect side so that we employ that simple food web the science that we learned in p4 whereby the insect feed on the plant and then the fertilizer is food to the plant so we poison the fertilizer to keep off the insect side insects we're also going to look at the what at the fungicide if you want your tomato to look to, to establish well and look good like this one initially most of the farmers have been using uh, manko zeb as a fungicide but we are introducing a very brand new technology remember new 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 seed new variety new technology to ensure that our growers are in at par with what the market wants so for this particular variety we are we are using a, a fungicide called nodox very cheap very economical and very efficient with the nodox in unlike the manko zeb where we've been using five tablespoons in 20 liters of water for nodox we only use one tablespoon with one tablespoon we are able to offer our our plant the protection that it deserves so you find that number one we are saving a lot of money number two we are we are reducing or suppressing the impurities or the pathogens that would cause discomfort on our plants or the the the, the pathogens that would stress our our plants so for nodox we apply every after seven days interval for a period between the first week and the and the 10th week we we in exclusively use a copper nodox copper nodox is a fungicide that is used then uh, as we continue uh, let me allow me to put this trip this tip because this is the big the, the major tip that number one it is a kind of a, a tip that you never find it in any books or science books and it is a, a tip that through our research and continuous research and innovation is something that we've come up with whereby the cheapest chemical in, in this more especially this horticulture is very is either freely available by our farmers or if you don't adhere to the instructions you may find that you may suffer a great deal whereby the rule is do not enter your garden when the leaves are wet I've seen so many farmers struggling uh, either they are they, they have contracted casual workers to do the work so they want to to wake up very early in the morning and start weeding they want to wake up in the morning start staking they want to wake up in the morning start mulching it is wrong when you are doing tomato farmers as my dear farmers you need to have a cape like this one so that it protects you from the scorching sun when you decide that I'm going to do tomatoes make sure uh, be, be prepared that you are going to work under the scorching sun that is the rule the, the essence is to reduce on the possibilities of you the worker transmitting the pathogens or uh, giving this pathogen a leeway to be, to become a disease remember during those days in our school we used to be so innovative we used to have something called called a disease triangle a disease triangle basically it is a triangular shape whereby at the base we have the pathogen i remember the pathogen is a disease causing organism on the other side we have the alternate host what if this pest uh, comes to your garden what welcomes it and those are weeds if this uh, pest is to enter your garden what gives it a lift are the workers and that is the reason i talked of do not enter your garden when the leaves are what are wet it's a very it's a very good strategy that is going to help you to ensure that you you minimize the chances of this pathogen becoming into a disease the other side of the triangle is all is the conducive environment now when you talk of conducive environment it explains to us the reason the reasons why during the rain season it is very difficult for farmers to succeed in farming just because they do not know our rules 
of engagements in horticulture, whereby we say, do not enter your crop when the leaves are wet. And this rule applies on most majority of the horticulture, be it tomato, watermelon, green pepper, cabbage. If you don't adhere to that rule, you'll end up spending so a lot of money and at the end of the day, you'll not be able to what? To break even. So the conducive environment is something that either is brought about by omission or commission. So if you don't know how to take care of your garden, you'll find yourself all the time meander, uh, moving around your garden. In the process, you find it is you who is making it what? Sick. Then we also look at the changing insect pattern. So for our farmers, you know, today, remember we are in tropical climate and the tropical climate is a, is a, is a buffet of all sorts of insects. This seed is not, any, any, so long as it is a tomato, it is prone to attack by insects, either by uh, attraction or by smell. So just like any other tomato, it is uh, prone to, there is a, a caterpillar called Tuta absoluta. In science, we call it a leaf miner. There, is, there, are, there are insects like thrips, white flies, aphids, all those destabilize the well-being of our, what? of our tomato. Now, remember, all insect sites are mixed with the foliar fertilizers. And for the foliar fertilizers we, we apply, for the first three weeks, we use vano. Reason being that is the establishment of the early stages of growth. Then the second, uh, early stages of growth, including vegetative growth. Then the second phase is the flowering and fruiting. In flowering and fruiting, we still uh, implore the work of either column to counter those thrips and white flies that are attracted by the flower. Or if there are inst incidences of tuta absoluta, we use belt to counter them. Belt, belt is spelled as belt, just like the belt, but it's a very good remedy against the tuta absoluta. For areas whereby belt has, uh, insects have developed res resistance on belt, we use benocab. It's a very good molecule on the market that is helping our farmers to fight what? Uh, tuta absoluta. Then the third one, we use uh, malt NPK. Malt NPK is basically potassium nitrate to ensure that our um, tomato uh, attains the required size and then at, uh, get that uniform ripening. By uniform ripening is that complexion that will attract, will catch your eye on, from a very far distance. So therefore, there are, two, there, are, there are three basic steps. The first three weeks, we use uh, column and uh, vano. The second semester, we use uh, be, uh, belt and bimo. And then the third one, we can still employ the, the work of column because by then, once the, the, the fruits have started ripening, it also attracts other insects because of the color. So we, we use column. And remember, column is very eco-friendly. It is less toxic. And at that time, probably would have started harvesting. So... That is, that is the basic management in terms of nutrition. Now, based on fertilizer, as I said, we use power, first three weeks. Week four and five, we use Yara liver nitrable to, to provide for us enough calcium to ensure that the fruit is firm. And then the last semester, the, the week six up to around 10, we use uh, Yara mira wina. But because Alston is a heavy feeder and you have it for a long period of time, occasionally, we cannot only use these two patterns within two months and expect to harvest for eight months. Monthly, we shall be mixing nitrable and winner. We put by monthly 14 weeks interval to guarantee us continuity because all these new leaves that are coming up, should flowers that are coming, must be fed to ensure that we maintain the quality that we are supposed to what to supply to the market. Therefore, for Alston, tomato Alston, for further information. I would wish to give you my WhatsApp number. And this WhatsApp number, I, we, we've, done, we've sat down and researched about the disease profile. I have that document. You can use that opportunity. You send me your high message on WhatsApp on plus 256-751-938489. Plus 256-751-938489. The reason why I'm giving you that number is, number one, 
you are able sometimes you might be in the garden you have a smartphone you can get the photo you can record a small video and send it to me i don't encourage farmers to uproot their plants and transport them to either the market side you are transmitting diseases so get the photo if you have if it is a caterpillar if it is an insect get a photo get a small video and send it to me i'll be able to give you the what the, the whatever for the issue of the pdf document is a summary of all disease profiles all diseases that disorganize tomatoes sometimes as a farmer you may not be able to tell what is this any slight change by either indicate a disease or an improvement so i want us to work together to ensure that whatever we venture into we are able to what to benefit now lastly we enter on the cost benefit analysis that is now the market that is where the uh, rewards come from or or from, when we began the program we were taking you through the journey on how do you uh, bring this thing up now we are at the climax because if you do it perfect well and you do not understand what the market uh, the dynamics of the market still you will have lost your money so this is the sweetest moment the moment of contention because most farmers are always disputing this uh, analogy now alston f1 from our research it is a variety that is able to give you 25 kilograms of tomato unfortunately our local markets has not embraced the, the, the they are not selling the, the 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 produce on kilograms but unfortunately my dear farmer when you are when you are buying seed you buy in grammage in kilograms but when you are selling you sell in clusters or kind of, but soon with the merging of this kind of varieties we shall start selling in kilograms and that is why we come up with a narrative of 20, 25 kilograms per acre now if you've done one acre one acre can accommodate 4000 tree seedlings and each seedling is giving us 20, <coughs> 25 kilograms that means in an acre you are able to get 100000 kilograms in a, in a local language we talk it 100 metric tons assuming 100000 kilograms and each kilogram is 2000 shillings that means with alston f1 you are able to earn your cool 200 million in a period of what in a period of 11 months that money i don't earn it even on salary but i call upon our farmers let's try this farming and by the way This faith agro inputs you seeing we started as farmers by planting tomatoes inspiring so many farmers who are struggling now here we are we are also preaching the same gospel and i wish to challenge you farmers who are out there watching at this program please these things are doable for those ones for, for those my dear friends who are getting small grants here and there right now the government is talking of pdm please look for me i've already given you my whatsapp number let's get in touch to see how we can help you plan and not necessarily gamble in whatever undertakings that you are doing but ensure that you you are able to to comfortably participate fully in the what the so called money economy and now what defines the money economy the other day we had people talking of shifting from middle class Uh, to lower class to middle class income status now what are the parameters of middle class income status number one, these these are the, the the category of people that can afford these tomatoes in their grocery stores because today the market is changing somebody those people who used to buy tomatoes on daily basis they are now buying on weekly basis by weekly basis and we need our farmers to grow more tomatoes and supply to those markets feed those markets to ensure that they are able to constantly and resourcefully uh, fulfill the the uh, the requirements of those uh, markets remember it is a tomato that it is uh, indeterminate indeterminate means you are able to produce for a long period of time is a tomato that is eye catching it can produce very good size of fruits very good uh, texture very good attractive color and above all very sweet taste more especially for those who enjoy the salad salads so 
I implore you, visitors in our outlets in Kampala, we are finding container village opposite Cooper Complex entrance, in Tebe Road, Eseria building next to Nakasero Mosque in Bali. We are in uh, Tax Park, lockup number 15, eh? and above all in Ginger Show ground. We have a, a, a resource center that is going to run uh, the whole year round to ensure that farmers are able to be trained well. And remember, all the trainings at our source of the Nile showground are free, are free of charge. So please come in, come in with your notebook. The chairs will be provided, the shed will be provided. You can come with some little money either to buy the seeds or the seedlings. And then we go out there and practice this kind of farming to ensure that number one, we are self-reliant. Number two, we are able to meet the, the, the market demands of our, our markets. And number three, we are also able to export to our neighboring country so that we come, we earn a foreign exchange. Thank you very much and thank you for watching. <clears throat>